reading from Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't like reading from the McGinnis sisters. No, it's not McGinnis. <laughs> it's Fifty Shades of Grey. Both situations were talking about sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the for a second. All right. Okay. Before I know it, he's got both of my hands and his vice like grip above my head. <laughs> and he's pinning me to the wall. He's slept. See? I told you. Beginner sister. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not beginner sister. His other hand grabs my hair and yanks down, bringing my face up and his lips around mine. My tongue tentatively strokes his and joins the slow, erotic dance. On our way to the Super Bowl. <laughs> what? 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 Well, sorry. <laughs> Can I read this next word? Please. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know which one it is, but if you have a question, don't. Oh, it starts Just with an E. I didn't. Replace it with a, with a uh, an item from McGinnis Sisters. <laughs> uh, his Polish is against my <laughs> Is it getting you hot reading that? Uh, no, but it's making me hungry. <laughs> All right. Let's see. One, uh, uh, Morgan, if you can, just uh, one, one more excerpt would be good, because, you know, they are trying to get someone to read for the audio book, and you might be perfect. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> At the touch of leather, I quiver and gasp. He walks around me again, trailing the crop around the middle of my body. <laughs> On his second circuit, he suddenly flicks the crop, and it hits me underneath my behind. <laughs> against my face. The shock runs through me, and it's the sweetest, strangest, hedonistic feeling. My body convulses at the sweet, stinging bite. My nipples harden and they long. <laughs> and I moan loudly, pulling on my leather cuff. <laughs> Not unlike those days at Shawshank. <laughs> you either get busy living or you get busy being dominated. <laughs> uh, Morgan Freeman. Well, best of luck. Is, any, is there anybody else there who might like to give a try at, at winning that uh, the bid to be the audiobook voice? Yeah, yeah. Let's go old school here, guys. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you who I'm not thinking about when I read this stuff, okay? <laughs> I just figured you'd be doing Fifty Shades of Farve. Oh, oh, I didn't even think of that. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> and also <it was> vulnerable. <laughs> so why not? Why don't you like to be touched? Uh, I whisper. St- oh, I should have whispered that. But okay. <laughs> Staring up into in the soft gray eyes because I'm Fifty Shades of <laughs> Farved up. <laughs> Anastasia. I mean, I, I, had to, I that doesn't really say far, but I changed it. To. <laughs> I'd like to try another chance. Guys. Okay, all right. Last chance for Morgan Freeman, who, who feels rejuvenated here. Here we go. That's fun. <clears throat> he holds out his hand, and in his palm are two shiny silver balls linked with a thick black thread. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Freeman. I'm not done yet, guys. Oh. <laughs> There's two more lines. Let me finish. All right. I may just have to keep these. They make me needy. <laughs> needy for sex. And scene. And scene. Thank I'd you. like to read this to my niece. <laughs>